Hello and welcome to A Slice with Strife. I am, of course, William Strife, and today I'm going to be playing a little game called Hammer Watch. Uh, this recently just came through the gr uh, Steam Greenlight system and is officially released. This is not my first time with the game. Uh, I was playing a lot of this whenever it was in its beta phase, before it was even greenlit, so... I know what I'm doing with this game, and all I have to say is that this is a fantastic game. The minute I knew that it was uh, officially released, I just didn't give a second thought to it, and I bought it. So, uh, let's go ahead and hop into a single-player game. Uh, play as a paladin. No, no. Okay, paladin. Medium, hard, easier. Let's just go with uh, medium. Go ahead and hit start. The small bridge broke behind you. There is probably no way out. Oop. Okay. Uh, controls. Here we go. Controller. <laughs> Fix that. Alright. I am using the 360 controller for a PC, if you're curious. So it's a pretty simple game, but I love how it's 8-bit style. And, um... The thing is... You've got a limited number of lives, so if you look up at the top, you have bronze, silver, and gold keys, but on the very right is the number of lives you have. So, the idea is pretty simple and straightforward. You just go through the dungeon and try to kill everything, uh, just defeat the boss. Ah. And, um, it's, I mean, it's absolutely a fantastic experience. Um, I'm, I'm really curious how they could have, uh, improved the game since the last time I played it. Oh, here we go. See, there's a map. So, uh, you can keep track of yourself. This, uh, dungeon doubles up upon itself. And, uh, in the original demo for the beta... Ah! Rapid tap. Whew. Um, in the original demo for the beta what uh, the game encompassed was basically this dungeon that I'm running through here, which is nothing new to me, and um, a boss at the very, very end. Now, the dungeon went deeper past the boss, but that's where it stopped. It didn't go any further. Um, that was the end. So, it's, uh, it's beyond this part of the dungeon that I'm going to get to the new content for me. But nonetheless, now that the game is officially out, uh, you know, it, this is the best opportunity at all possible for me to go ahead and show it off to you guys. Ah! Oh, God, that hurt. Um, is there... no? Nothing? That music just really lapped over on itself. Anyways, uh, I thought, you know, I've been wanting to do a video over this game even back whenever it was in beta. Ooh, secret passage. That's... What? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. They're gonna kill me. Oh, oh damn it. Okay, I, got, I have to be very, very careful. I forgot how, uh, how absolutely difficult this game can get. Um, hit and run is paramount. But anyways, I was... Really looking for uh, a time to do a play of this game in any way, shape, or form back whenever it was in beta. And I just never really got around to it. Not that I didn't want to. By all means, I wanted to. It's I just didn't for some weird reason. So, with the release of the game, I figured, hey, uh, what better time than the present, right? Just pick up this loot. And unlike uh, other, ge uh, other dungeon delving games, which require that you collect uh, experience to level up your character and whatnot. Instead, it's all about... No! Stay away! Uh, it's all about... Uh, the goal... Uh, the gold. And... Item vendors. Uh, well, not item vendors. There are trainers... Who will... Show up, and they... They're, they're in various locations all around the, uh, the dungeon. There aren't very many of them. But it costs exorbitant amounts of money to level up your skills. Um, specifically how much damage you do, how much damage you can take, how much mana you have, your, you know, maximum health. Uh, it's really not holding to typical rules or, um, conventions. I mean, the, the normal conventions are there, but it's very, very simple, and the game is more about huge levels and exploration than anything else, which is something that I absolutely love, it's no secret. 
So, I've got a bronze key. Let's open this wall. Aha. Must be careful. Meat grinder! Okay, and here's a little save point. Woohoo, activated checkpoint. So that's a little three and a half inch floppy disk from back in the day. I'm surprised that uh, the developer decided to use that because, um, let's face it, who, who, who on earth uses floppy disks nowadays? Actually, if you're young enough, you might not even know what on earth, what on earth that uh, symbol is for. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. I'm out of lives now. I'm trying to remember. Which button was the... Oh, okay. It was B. I kept thinking it was the shoulder buttons for my special move. Well, I can't, uh... I can't get another life. Or at least, I don't think I can get another life. I can't recall whether or not that's an option in this game. I wonder how much my, uh, rapid button clicking on the controller is, uh, being picked up by the microphone. Oh boy, come on. Ah. Yeah, that's what you get. So these crystals over here, are uh, they refill your mana. Obviously, as you can see, your mana refills over time. But, uh, for some of the back, ra uh, back row fighters, such as the mage and the warlock and the archer, um... The, uh, the mana is a whole lot more important. As a, uh, wait a minute, what is this? Oh my god, I found a secret! Yeah, you have to be wa uh, on the lookout for this, for those tiny little... ...things. And the walls, the cracks and whatnot. Woo! Alright. That was fantastic. Fantastic! Aha! Come on, I'll take you all! I need a key. There it is, there's the key. Look at the bat! Get him! Actually, this is a game that I can't play for too long at a clip because, um... God, it'll just... it, it, it just activates my carpal tunnel. Whew, that was dangerous. How embarrassing would that be? Death by a thousand bats. Ugh. Oh, no. It's the worms. They spew acid. It becomes a bullet frenzy whenever you start running into nests of these things. Oh, boy. I need to be more careful. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, though, so... Luckily, there's some health back here for me to pick up. Mm, 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 mm. Um, this is actually a four-player game, so... Uh, it's something that I, I would really, really love to uh, get into... With... Ooh, ooh, some other people who also make videos. Um, that's not an invitation, mind you. I'm just making that statement out loud. Uh, thinking aloud, if you will. But one of the things about this game in multiplayer that makes it significantly more difficult is that you do not keep track of lives, uh, lives separately. Oh god. Oh, oh. Slime. Slime. Oh, acid. Oh! Oh! Aha, got him. Ah, checkpoint! Come on! Come on, you flying menaces! You beady little eyes. Oh, Lord. Look at all the slimes over there. There's probably a nest over to the left somewhere. Okay. Ooh, hey, it's another key. Perfect. No! 
I was expecting that charge to do a little bit more damage. Okay, got a little bit of health. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Moving through it completely and entirely. What's this? I walk away. Yeah, there's, there's eyes up here. They're flashing. What's this? Found a strange plank. What the f A strange plank? That's actually not a new secret to me. Um, in the uh, in the beta, it was a uh, the letter H. I think what you found were um, the letters of uh, the name of the game, Hammer Watch. And I think that was the original idea behind the uh, the hidden passages like these that you would find. Um, but ow. Not the case anymore, clearly. Oh, uh, what was I saying about multiplayer earlier? Oh yes, the thing about multiplayer in this game is that it's significantly more difficult because you share lives. That it's not everyone starts out with five lives. It's that there is collectively there are collectively five five lives for everyone to use, uh, which is particularly dangerous, <laughs> uh, considering that. There's nothing stopping you from being the one good, uh, party member playing the game. Oh, no! Oh, God. Bullet Frenzy. Bullet Frenzy. No, no, no. Can't die. Can't die. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Okay, okay, I got this. I totally got this. This is a lot harder than I remember it being. Originally. Oh! How much of a beating can these things take? Okay, got them. Thing, oh, whew. Sweating bullets. I'm not going to find any health in the barrels. That's actually a, a bit of a drawback, in my opinion. You cannot find health in barrels. It's nothing but money. So this game is really... It's not about just barreling through the enemies. It's about being able to get through the dungeon. Perseverance and skill, because, you know, limited retries, resources, and health to find. It's... Oh, my lord. Is it ever difficult? It's... It's a little bit roguelike. Well, not... No, no roguelike is where you... You die really, really easily, and you keep trying over and over. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Just use that charging skill. Let's see if I can... <laughs> oh, God. That, that plan did not work as well as I thought it would. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god! Oh lord! Oh, this is heavy, baby. No, I can't die here. It's too soon. The episode would be too short. Oh! Maybe I should have turned on infinite lives. Oh god. <laughs> okay, maybe th maybe there's more health back here. I can't remember. Um, can I backtrack for more health? Lord. Come on. It's, it's... I really wish that I had, like, a healing spell or something, because there's so much magic just sitting around. But at the same time, that's kind of, um... counter to what... Aha! Some health. Nowhere near enough, but some. Just use this charge ability. Made a checkpoint, saved game. Fuwa. Okay. Uh. I think I might have a better chance. Okay. Oh, we.
Oh we. Oh lord, this is a this is an adrenaline filled rush. Come on. Oh boy. Oh god. 17 health. Not gonna make it. Must try harder. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, ooh. Come on. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm somehow managing. I don't know how I did this the first time. Oh, health. Oh, thank God, health. Health, health, oh, thank God. Give me the apple. Oh, give me that tasty sinful fruit. Oh, thank God. I'm, I'm back up to a manageable level of health. Now, I just have to maintain the same level of caution. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got it. What do we have here? Combo, 245. Totally worth buying. I still have 930 left to go. A uh, combo timer makes it easier to chain combos by increasing the combo timer from 0.75 seconds to one second. Okay, so the amount of time I have to chain combos is increased. Uh, continuously shoots a six part Nova that does 12 damage while a combo is active. Combo healing heals for two per second while a combo is active. That is my poison right there. Come on. I don't know how you would get through those arrows. I'm horrible at that, you know, timing and placement stuff. I already checked that. I don't remember. Um, okay. Deeper we go. Uh, into the bowels of the dungeon. Ooh, it's another coin up there. Definitely worth my time. Woo! 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 <laughs> okay. Whoa. 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 Oh, crap. Oh, we. I've regained a tiny bit of health from my uh from my work there. Okay. And as you can also tell, because of the extremely sparse number of health, uh, uh, because of the extremely sparse amount of health that there is, uh, just kind of lying around, it's also more difficult during multiplayer because there's no extra health lying around. Uh, you and your friends really do have to be on the ball with not getting hit and or getting hurt. So... Okay. On to another floor, and actually this game doesn't rely too much on, um... Oh boy. Oh boy. Ow! Ah! Oh lord. This isn't good! Oh lord. Oh, oh cripe! Meat grinder at the corner! I'm not regenerating mana fast enough. Need chargeability. Badly. Yeesh. The chargeability has also severely been nerfed since the last time I played this game. Before it was just like the saving grace. If you charged into something, it was basically instant death for whatever you for whatever you hit. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ah. Oh. 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 Cry. Oh lord. Oh. More worms! Slugs! They're everywhere! Oh god. I don't want to die. I don't want to die! 
Oh! Oh, no. Oh. Well, there you have it, everyone. That's hammer watching. That's, that's just how difficult it is. You've got a really good idea. Um, it's a game that's really meant to be played with friends, um, mainly because it's horribly difficult to, uh, to handle the number of crowds. You really do need a tank and kite system, or, uh, a t uh, someone to tank, uh, someone to kite everything, and someone to just, uh, pick them off, uh, from range, like the wizard, the warlock, or the archer. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, this is Hammerwatch, and this has been a slice with Strife. A little bit of a short episode, unfortunately, but, you know, that's how it rolls whenever the game is uber, uber hard. Um, anyways, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with another game. Bye.